Greetings from uh, Manipal Hospital, Department of uh, Pulmonology, Interventional Pulmonology and Sleep Disorders. We are um, uh, celebrating the Organ Donation Week and uh, in this context, it is very appropriate that we make every possible effort to educate our patients about the importance of organ donation about the work that is done in heart-lung transplants in Manipal Hospital. India has a huge burden of various organs, more than 5 lakh liver transplant, more than double the number of that is required for renal transplant and more than 50,000 lung transplants in a year are the demands of uh, today. A few years ago, it seemed quite impossible that uh, we could have a successful lung transplant program anywhere in India. Having said that, things have started changing in the last two years and the change has been phenomenal. Till date, we have many centers that have done more than 80 to 100 lung transplants, which at a point of time was not imaginable. India is a tropical country with a lot of infectious disease burden and most importantly, tuberculosis. Public health uh, arm like uh, sanitation, hygiene, water, were all, and uh, pollution, were all a big challenge in uh, individuals who have undergone lung transplantation. Lung, amongst all the transplantable organs, has the largest uh, surface area and has a large amount of lymphatic and uh, easy to pick up and catch bugs which we don't want to happen in a transplanted lung. At Manipal, for example, we have uh, pulmonologists who have been trained, practiced abroad uh, from countries like Australia, cardiothoracic uh, surgeons who have been specifically trained in lung transplant in Australia. We have very senior cardiothoracic uh, surgeons who have done a lot of heart transplants. Therefore, this uh, with the expertise that we borrow from uh, the biggest solid organ transplant like uh, renal transplants in India, also liver transplants. So there is a wealth of knowledge within the Manipal uh, transplant services. Any patient who after a thorough clinical assessment has advanced lung disease and whose lifespan is going to be not more than six months without a lung transplant is the apt candidate for lung transplant. There are lots of do's and don'ts. People should not have a terminal malignancy. Ideally, the age should not be more than 65. Um, there should not be a probability of the primary problem coming back in the transplanted lung they should not be smoking at least for an year or two before the time of transplant. More than anything else, we do have a lot of patients who come and ask for lung transplant. There is a very vigorous evaluation where we assess has a patient and the immediate uh, uh, relatives or attendants of the patients have understood what is the pros and cons of lung transplant Patients may have special care, needs to avoid infection, regularity with medication and um, an insight into the post-lung transplant scenario. Only those patients can be taken up. It is very important that uh, we encourage and discuss and be the leaders in organ donation. This is one way to ensure that we leave even after our death. Our organs do contribute. Our heart beats in somebody. Our lungs breathe in somebody. No organ should go waste. And that is the motto 